yeah, fucking bash that cunt or whatever. So they got that, that's all like with the graffiti people, that's what they're like. Well, especially the ones that don't really paint that much, they're more violent generally. I shouldn't have posted the the 50 where the eyes got damaged. It attracts people go, oh, now I'll go do some shit so I can get the clout. Welcome to Lush's Lethal Beef Defense System. I've been around. I've worked for many years, you know? I know my shit. They've always got some sort of drug problem, some mental illness problem, or they're just a cunt. People say he was like an informant, a blah, blah. And I thought, oh, it'd be fun to fucking troll him as well. And because he's an older guy, he doesn't quite understand how the internet works. He would constantly, like, he'd send you death threats and pictures of guns and knives and shit. You wanna get real, you get real. You know what I'm saying? You nigga try to fight on me, you won't catch a cat. Boom! What the fuck are you doing, mate? No, I'm not gonna have this shit now. Fucking break your leg, you mate. Grab them by the back. See you later, front teeth. Goodbye, back teeth. Bend him over. Grab that fucking can out of his hand. Let's spray this maggot's face. There you go. Oh, bit of red eye shadow for you, buddy. I actually, like, changed my mind about that guy. I, I don't think he's that bad. I think the people that were, like, trying to make him out to be some informant were probably actually the informants in the end. They just they were just a bit more savvy with the internet, yeah? So I can't feel bad about it. People uh, get very violent with that stuff. I had people trying to stab me at my front door, like some dude follow us in a car once and then when I stop they run up and try to stab me then and yeah it's just part of the the, the whole stupid graffiti culture in Melbourne's like a violent thing. It's always been like that though. <laughs> Graffiti's fun and all, but it's a very toxic culture of people, you know? You're doing somewhat evil things to you gotta steal everything, you gotta you gotta um, you gotta lie and cheat and get over to get things done, you gotta hurt people to maintain that you're not a soft cunt, you know, like all that stuff I don't, I don't like it man. In Copenhagen I'd hired a truck for a tour thing. Um, and I was doing shows as I drove it around Europe. And I had this fucking mutt tag the back of it. And I had to spend the whole day removing it because it was a rental. And after that, I was like, the morals of graffiti started to change for me a bit. Just before the, the whole Banksy thing as well, man, where my whole mind changed on everything, man. That's so why I don't bother with graffiti stuff anymore. They're all sociopaths and The transition with the graffiti into, say, the street art mural stuff uh, it's maybe like, I think it was around about when I did Dismaland, Banksy's big theme park thing in um, the UK. So I started to do stuff that was more, less graffiti orientated and more starting to drift into the street art thing. The new stuff 
It brings like more positive things, man. Welcome to another episode of Around Akiba. I'm here in Nakano, the Nakano Broadway, at the Hidari Zingaro Gallery. And we have a very special guest today. It's Lash Sachs. And yeah, so please give us an introduction about yourself. I'm just some Aussie dude that's here for some reason. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you have a really awesome exhibition here. Could you tell us something about the exhibition? It's like a capture, a little time capture of the moment of what's happening. Something that can be like sort of enjoyed by everyone. Yeah, that, that's a very great thing about memes. I mean, everybody around the world can enjoy them. It's like some tall poppy syndrome shit here. You know, the Australian thing. They think that they're a little bit smarter than you and the stuff I do is kind of aimed at a whole big audience. It's, it's not really like a little subcategory thing. So they feel a bit, um, they don't feel comfortable with my stuff. It's not, it's not cool. What do you have to, like if you had to say something to them, what would you say to them? Uh, suck my fucking cock. <laughs> Uh, I've had some other tags, but I've only been caught in Australia once. So I don't really want to like say it. Because then whatever um, senile Jack will look it up and go, oh, I've got your 